I'm fairly convinced there's no concealed carry pistol any more convenient than a pocket pistol when self-defense is in question. In 2020, over 19 million U.S. citizens have gotten themselves a concealed carry permit that allows them to carry a gun for their own safety, according to the Crime Prevention Research Center. This massive influx of new gun owners paved a way for a more diverse gun community, and that's why we see the newfound popularity of pocket carry pistols. Pocket pistols have many benefits, especially for new gun owners. What makes them popular is their ease of use, concealability, and the abundance of aftermarket options for them. They're small, but they can kick with a sharp and snappy recoil, and it can be a hassle to choose a good pocket pistol. That's why we have listed the top seven pocket pistols and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool at our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number seven, the Taurus Curve. Most notably, the Curve does just that, it curves. If a prospective buyer is seeking out a pistol that hugs to a natural line of drift along the body, this jumps to the top of the list as a suggested purchase. For more experienced pistol owners, the unnatural curve of the pistol grip may seem foreign and distracting, but this design makes it much easier to actually carry the gun, a purpose for which it was specifically designed. The curve doesn't have any iron sights. This is even a closer quarters pistol that relies on the immediacy of the situation and proximity to the target. The user aims the gun by looking through the back of the slide. Additionally, the barrel contours to its rounded slide in the name of a smooth return to a holster position against the body. As a result, the end of the barrel is not rifled. This pistol is not a dual purpose range and personal defense firearm. Its design is unique to the concealed carry user and should be used accordingly. The ergonomics are complemented by a standard 6 plus 1 payload, rendering the curve capable of mitigating threats. The carrier should be aware of this pistol's unconventional safeties and should practice clearing, loading, and shooting accordingly. Coming in at number 6, the kel P11. Initially, the kel was one of the smallest pistols on the market. Nowadays, there's much smaller options available, but kel continues to offer its P11, since it continues to offer a number of benefits over smaller size pocket pistols. For one, users get a gun chambered in 9mm rather than the less powerful 380 ACP. Also notable is the 10 plus 1 round capacity, which far surpasses any other pistol in this lineup. Aesthetically, the P11 is not much of a refined piece. It's a wholly concealed carry pistol on the larger side for pocket pistol carry, but it's manageable. Accurate and moderately smooth in curvature and design, this pistol feels more like a tool you can use hard and put away wet. All in all, this is a dependable pistol and a solid choice, particularly if you're on a budget. Coming in at number five, the Kimber Micro 9 9mm. Kimber is well known for their competition grade manufacturing and top notch reliability with a hefty price. Chambered in the 9mm cartridge is a 1911 style pocket pistol that fits the concealed carry profile well. The slide lock, safety lever, and hammer operate in a similar fashion to 1911, except its pocket size. It's just over three inches in length, weighs around 17 ounces, and is only an inch wide. The low seven round capacity might not be suitable for everybody, but the trigger is smooth and moderate felt recoil is suitable for any firearms enthusiast. Personally, I like the flush fitting mag with a finger grip extension that most gun owners with large hands can really appreciate. It also comes with a soft padded case for enhanced ergonomics. There's models that also come with crimson trace laser grips, but I personally like this model with the Hogue wraparound grips. The 16 pound recoil spring makes sure there are no feeding issues and it's a definite high-end feature that really pumps the price for reliability. The 9mm chambering is for those who appreciate stopping power, and you can expect moderate recoil thanks to the bulky stature. Coming in at number 4, the Colt 380 Mustang. When Colt comes to mind, consumers generally think traditional, full-size 1911 guns. With the 380 Mustang, the company took the traditional look, feel, and reliability of its full-size guns and provided it in a compact, pocket-sized platform. This pistol features a traditional single action trigger combined with a stainless steel slide and polymer frame, creating an easily carried platform that weighs less than a pound when loaded. This is a light, reliable pocket pistol and an ample concealed carry choice. Carriers should be conscientious of potential snag points, but this pistol is a traditional, albeit smaller, reflection of the Colt dependable design. 
Number 3. The Sig Sauer P365 Semi-Automatic 9mm Luger now don't get me wrong, the Sig Sauer P365 teeter-totters on the edge of being a pocket pistol and a full-blown subcompact pistol. It's a lot bulkier than these other pocket pistols, with its overall length at 5.8 inches, 4.3 inches in height, and a 17.8 ounce weight, but it's still a decent carry option that's perfect if you're looking for a good target practice handgun. The Sig P365 offers a high capacity 10 plus 1 round magazine, snag-free design, convenient ergonomics, and a flush fit magazine that comes with your purchase. These models come with the X-Ray 3 day-night sights as well. It's engineered for maximum performance with the striker fired trigger, stainless steel slide, nitron finish, and polymer grip for enhanced ergonomics. However, it's on the bulkier side, and there have been complaints about reliability issues with the striker on the earlier models. So I suggest you look for P365 models with the serial number above 66A100000. If you're looking for more magazine capacity, the Springfield Hellcat 9mm offers a 3 plus 1 round capacity. It has a more stubborn trigger, but it's smaller with its 3 inch length. Number 2. Ruger LCP2 380 ACP Ruger's LCP series are an absolute flagship for pocket pistols, and I'm convinced the Ruger LCP2 runs the show. The Ruger LCP2 just feels different than your standard pocket carry gun. It's practicality at its finest. This is a very popular model that has all kinds of variants with different calibers, finishes, and accessories that make it easy for anyone to find their gun. It's a refined upgrade of the Ruger LCP, and it's a surprisingly affordable subcompact pistol with unmatched reliability, snag-free convenience, and a vastly improved trigger pull. With an overall height of 3.7 inches, 5.1 inches in length, and only 10.6 ounces, this pocket carry gun is one of the most lightweight options you can buy. Expect superior durability with the steel frame and the slide. I recommend you try this one before you buy it, because the size might not fit big palms, but that's not much of a problem. Overall, the Ruger LCP2 380 ACP is a very efficient concealed carry that shoots well around the 50 yard mark. It's easy to rack, it's easy to clean, it's easy to stock, and you can find all kinds of holsters and aftermarket options for it to boot. Number 1. The Beretta 3032 Tomcat 32 ACP The Beretta 3032 Tomcat has been in production since 1996, and it comes from the popular Cat line of pocket pistols, alongside highly reliable models like the Beretta Bobcat 22LR. It's a short-barreled 32 ACP with a capacity of 7 plus 1 rounds, and it's roughly the size of a cell phone, being 3.7 inches high and 5 inches long. What's special about this pistol is that the tip-up barrel allows you to load rounds directly into the tube without racking the slide. Expect solid durability with its all-metal frame. It has a double-action, single-action trigger that offers you light shooting with a shorter trigger if it's in single-action mode. And the two-position safety with a slide release that feels smooth and locks both the slide and the gun from firing. The magazine release is easy to operate with one hand, and it's on the left side of the pistol grip. I have no problems with the 32 ACP ammo. But ammo boxes in this cartridge can be difficult to find, not to mention the moderate snappy recoil as well. Still, it's a very efficient cartridge with solid accuracy and power. I'd recommend you practice flipping the Beretta Tomcat because it takes some time to get used to these safeties, especially while holstered. It has just enough ridges for smooth operation, even if your hands are sweaty. In conclusion, when people consider pocket pistols, they value concealability and the low profile factor above all. Consistency, accuracy, and convenience in operations are very important. But once you try a gun out first, it's much easier to find out what you truly want and need in a good pocket pistol. These choices I rounded up for you are all fine options, and they are more than just a placeholder that tells you what to look for. For now, I would most definitely recommend the Ruger LCP2 if you value simplicity, or the Beretta Tomcat. Let us know in the comments which model works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.